Hi everyone and welcome to the latest soldering tutorial. As always, thanks for your time, thanks for your support. Now on this one, it's going to be quite a short video. I'm just going to concentrate on this UV curing solder mask. Now if you're doing any repairs, you may have used the mask to cover up the repairs and you may have struggled getting the mask to cure. You normally get a UV torch, as you can see in the background. But if you're ever struggling to get the mask to cure, I'm going to show you this great trick. It gives you great results, really simple. So without further ado, we'll get straight on, show you a couple of examples and you hope you enjoy the method and uh, yeah, see the great results. Right, just quickly before we move on to the first demonstration, just want to talk through how I dispense the mask out the syringe and apply it to the board. Obviously it comes in a syringe, you've got a protective cap this end, got one up this end. This type of syringe is basically made for an airflow line, but you can just take the cap off there, push down on the plunger inside. Once that caps off, it's going to dispense. Now you can, you've got different size syringe nozzles. You can use them. I just generally apply a small amount on top. In this case, I've got a small plastic cap. Just dispense a small amount on there. And then I apply it to the board down the bottom. I've got two different size solders. Just scoop a little bit up on my solder and just apply it to the area that I'm reworking. That way I get a really controlled amount. I don't like to use as nozzles that go on the syringe. So that's basically how I dispense and apply it to the board. What we do now, get straight on with the demonstrations. Well, I'm just going to show you just a couple of quick demonstrations showing you how the hot air can really aid with your solder mask curing. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to isolate this test point here. So I put some mask over that. We're going with the UV torch, get the hot air applied and uh, yeah, get it cured. So I've got the hot air set to about 270 degrees Celsius. Shouldn't take too long. So uh, yeah, you shouldn't melt your solders around it. So if you've got a really powerful UV torch, you won't need the hot air. But if you're struggling, add the hot air and uh, yeah, it should get it cured. Like I said earlier, we're just going to apply it. I always put some small amount of solder just so I get a neat job. So don't need too much. Do this pad here. A small bead over the top. So we've got that nicely covered, and then uh, yeah, just go in with the UV torch in the hot air. So if you've got a really powerful UV torch, you probably won't need the hot air as well. Let's get a UV torch in there. And get this hot air in there. When it's curing, it starts to go duller up the sides first. It's always the centre point at the top that takes the longest, the deepest point. You will start to see it go dull up the sides. When it's dull all the way to the top, that's the time it's done. So just be patient, it's already going dull all up the sides. Shouldn't take too long now. Yeah, it's quite, this is quite a mess in the centre, all the way down to the board. Just be patient to get that to go all the way down. Another 10 seconds or so, and uh, should have gone. We'd be a bit quick test after, give it a quick tap, with some tweezers to see see how it's performed. And I shouldn't need too much more. Can cure solder mask out in the sunlight, but if you're living in England, that's quite difficult. Right, that's quite that's dull now, all the way up. So the shine's totally gone. I think that's going to be cured. I'm going to take the hot air and the torch away. Give it a test. Might get the odd scratch in it from the tweezers, just prodding it. But not too worried about that. I'm just going to scratch it over, as you can see. Not making any indents at all. That's it's quite a good result. That got no no indents, no scratching, barely. So that's done a really good job. I like say if you're struggling, add the hot air, and you will get a good result. Yeah, anyway, I'll just show you one more quick demonstration. Then uh, we'll put some photos up afterwards. Right, just quickly before we move on to the next demonstration, this is a repair I've just shown in a recent video. As you can see, I'm tapping the solder mask. I've got a lovely hard solder mask repair now. This again was cured using the UV torch and the hot air. So if you want to check this repair out, it was done in a recent trace repair video. So 
So anyway, what we do now, move on with the next demonstration. Right, so I'm quickly just going to show you one more demonstration on how your hot air can help cure your solder mask. Now, I've got this wire soldered onto this pin down here. The pad on this actual pin connection was loose as well. So we're just going to secure the area with the solder mask. Now, this is quite a high joint, so you may need two layers on this. So I'm going to go in with one layer and see what that looks like. Maybe have to add a second layer over the top to get a good end result. So what we do, get the mask applied again on the end of a piece of solder so you can control the amount you put on. I say when you get these high joints, just if you have to build them up in stages, that's the best way to do it. Sometimes really difficult to get your full height in one go. Let's see how this cures and see if we need another layer over the top. So again, I've got the hot air set to about 270 degrees Celsius. So get the UV torch in there. So you're looking for that dull color, that's when it's starting to go. You can already see the solar mask going from shiny to duller, that means it's starting to cure, it's a good sign. So don't try, if you've got these high joints, don't try and do them in one go, because you've got the mass underneath that may not cure properly. The outer skin may, but the inside may not be cured. That's almost all gone now, it's just a slight bit down that side. Another few seconds and uh, we'll see what this looks like without a UV torch on there. Now let's take that away. It's actually quite a good result. Now you can go over the top of another layer, which I will do on this one, but that's actually, I'm quite happy with that result. So just judge your situation basically. This is just being extra cautious, putting one more layer over the top. That's going to give you a really good secure pad in the future. That's got no chance of moving. So what we do, just go again with the torch and the hot air and get a second layer cured. It should be the final layer on this one. Built it up quite nicely now. As in with all your soldering processes, just be patient. That's the that's the key to getting good results when you're doing any kind of soldering process, including this. It's already starting to go dull, so this is actually curing quite quick, this one. I'll give it a test after, I'll just tap it with the tweezers, just, just to see how it's gone. But I'm quite confident that's quite a good result. That's going to give you a really stable fix in the future. Like I said in the first video, if you're struggling, getting your mask to cure, apply some hot air, and you'll get a good result. Right, I think that's done. So it's, uh, Take the torch in the hot air away and have a look. Let's give it a tap. Very, yep, yeah, rock solid. Give it a scratch test. That's gone really well. So there you go. If you're struggling to get your master cure in the future, hot air applied, you can get a great result. So anyway, I'll take a few photos of the demos that I've done. So anyway, thanks for your time for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll be back in the near future with some more videos. So if you did like this video, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Like I said, I'll see you soon and take care.